Here's a look at the five states that voted on recreational marijuana last night. Two, Maryland and Missouri, decided on legalization. But three, typically conservative states, that's Arkansas and North and South Dakota, decided against legalization. Now, I spoke with both sides today about how they think Oklahoma's special election will turn out. This was a pretty big victory for opponents of legal marijuana last night. I'm not sure that they really know Oklahoma. Smart Approaches to Marijuana, or SAM, fights marijuana legalization initiatives across the country. They note the three states that rejected legalization last night are similar to Oklahoma and that they're typically conservative states. I think the fact that you have you have more deeply conservative states voting against it really does send a message that there is a limit to the marijuana movement. Oklahoma has always been a unique state. We've always followed our own path and done our own thing. But the Yes on 820 campaign argues last night's results won't have an impact because it's more than a red or blue issue. We have felt all along that this is a not a partisan issue. This isn't even an ideological issue. It is about what is right for our state. Sam says states shouldn't be allowing what they call big marijuana to win. Yes on 820 thinks Oklahoma doesn't need to worry about outside business sweeping away the little guy. They've put their entire life into building a business. They're small businesses, Oklahoma businesses, and we've done our best with this law to protect those people. You know, we want people that are currently here in Oklahoma to be the ones running the rec program. Oklahoma special election for recreational marijuana is set for March 7th, 2023. Colby Terrell, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>